Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Ammermans, in my Redstone Basics series. Now, you could argue this is episode four of my Redstone Basics series, but given that episodes one through three were actually ages ago, you could say this is a new one, but I'm gonna stick it in the same playlist and I'm gonna call it episode four and we'll see how it goes. Now, I've been asked by a lot of people that have got a little bit confused by one of the relatively basics, but also slightly complicated parts of Redstone. And that's the difference between a soft powered block and a hard powered block. And it's actually really, really subtle. But what I'm gonna go through today is the difference between what's soft, what's hard, and why it's important. Let's crack on with it. For the purpose of this tutorial, we are gonna use the light blue wool block. This is a Redstone conductive block, and I'm using it because it's the closest one to the color of my shirt but we're gonna use it because it conducts really well. And because of its color, we can separate it out from other components of a circuit. Maybe it's got red wool on it or yellow wool on it. So we use different colored walls to separate the circuits, but any non-transparent block will work as a conductive block. Now, in terms of soft and hard power in this block, we can put some power into it simply by shoving a redstone line into it like that. So you can see, so this now has got power and I can demonstrate that it's got power by putting a redstone torch on the side of it. You can see the redstone torch turns off, which means it's been not gated. It's not got any power because we've basically reversed the polarity of that torch. If we put it down there, look, it's on. But if I put it on the side of that, it's off. And that's because this is powered. However, if we put um, a redstone line next to it, it hasn't got any power coming out and that's because this has been soft powered. It is able to hold a signal, it's able to store up that redstone, but it's not able to squirt it out without some kind of tool. So the three most common tools for identifying a soft powered block, i.e. A, power, a block that's got power in it, are these three here. So the first is a redstone repeater. That will take whatever you've put into that soft power box. So if this was 15 away and it still had enough signal to get in here, this would repeat that signal and give a full strength signal out. That's a lot of use of the word signal. So turn on that lever. This is soft powered. The redstone repeater sucks out that power and gives enough to turn on that lamp. Now the comparator is slightly different in that it will listen to what's going on inside the block and it will suck out the power. However, it won't repeat the power. It won't amplify it back up to 15. It'll only, amp it'll only basically, it will let out what goes in the back of it. So that's got a signal strength of 13 going in the back. That means that will only go out for 13 blocks. The last one is a little bit different. It's the redstone torch. The redstone torch can recognize when there is power inside a soft charged block. And at the minute, this block is not um, soft powered. So the redstone lamp is on. It's like it's normal, it's been put anywhere and it's turning on that lamp. If we were to soft power that block, the redstone lamp recognizes that it's soft powered and it creates a not gate situation and revert or inverts that signal and the lamp turns off. They're the three most common uses of a soft powered block. But how can we hard power it? So let's go back to our soft powered block. You can see if we turn that on, that puts power into the block, but no power comes out the back. But we do know it is soft powered because it will turn that redstone torch off. So that's a soft power block. If we want to hard power it, we need a tool again. So we've got to use a similar tool that which we used to suck the power out. Let's shove a repeater on there and all of a sudden we have got power coming out of it as well. And that means that there's all sorts of power coming in every single direction. So if we were to put redstone there, there's uh, power coming out that side, redstone there, there's power coming out that side as well. And also if I was to put the block there and redstone on top, that is also powered and that would be enough power. So you could then soft power a block, oh, not there, that's coming off the side of that redstone. And that is soft powered because you can see it turns off that torch. So that's one way in which you can do it. Also, again, let's get ourselves a comparator. That can also hard power that block. You can see that comes on. And similarly, if we were to put underneath here a redstone torch, that hard powers the block, but it wouldn't hard power another block that's next to it, for example. So if I was to put that block there, 
that block there would not be hard powered. You can see that's not working. It's only the block into which the redstone torch tip is pointing into that gets hard powered. So that's one difference between soft powering and hard powering. So why is it important to have a difference between a soft powered and a hard powered block? Well, primarily you've got often in some redstone circuits, especially when you want to make them really efficient, you've got redstone lines next to other parts of the circuit. And if this was hard powered, this would power that redstone line. So on this circuit, it's only a daft little circuit, but we want to be able to turn that lamp on and off using this lever, but we don't want to affect this lamp. But we've had to have the redstone line really close to this block because we've not got a lot of space. But that's okay because it's soft powered and that will turn that lamp on and off without having any effect on that lamp whatsoever. However, what if we actually wanted to have a dual effect and to have that lamp also turned on and off with this? So when this is on, that's off. And when that's off, that's on. We hard power this block. That hard power block then will pass its uh, redstone signal through to this redstone line and affect this block here like that. You can see, look, it switches from one to another and back again. And that is all as a result of the difference between hard powering and soft powering that block. A very quick and very basic tutorial on the difference between hard and soft powered block and why it might be important when you're building up a redstone circuit. Now, if you want other sorts of little quickie tutorials on redstone, do let me know if you want me to cover some of the basic stuff down in the comments below. What is it you want to know about? If you've enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you've enjoyed it and I will keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.